Hello, friends. You can probably hear the coffee perking in the background. I'm Box Van D. For those who don't know me, I'm a seventy, almost seventy-two year old nomad. I've been living on the road, first in my car, then the cargo trailer, and then the box van. Now I have a fifth wheel for a home base, and I'll share my story of six years of battling thyroid disease. This is part one, where I will just talk about what is thyroid disease. I I only share from my experiences and the research I've done. So, hope you'll enjoy this part one of what is thyroid disease. Hello, I'm Box Van D. At 64 years old, I finally broke away from a lifetime of trauma and abuse to become a nomad in the great outdoors. I share my whole story on my channel, the good, the bad, and the ugly, in my over 400 videos. I live in a fifth wheel trailer part-time and still travel and camp in my converted box van. I will tell you how I do things today, both from the home base and when I travel in my box van as a disabled solo female. Check out my past videos and watch me progress from my car to cargo trailer to box van and now my fifth wheel home. I'm always a nomad at heart. You need to be forewarned. I do have a speech problem because of a stroke about four years ago. So I may stumble through the words. I'm going to have trouble pronouncing some of these words. So bear with me. So what is a thyroid? It's a small butterfly-shaped endocrine gland that is located below the Adam's apple, and it wraps around the front of the um, trachea in the neck. So it's usually right in here. The thyroid is a necessary organ in our bodies attached to the pituitary system. The function of the thyroid is to produce hormones to aid in the growth and uh, energy metabolism in the body and also our de bodily development. Production of these hormones are controlled by TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone which is secreted by the pituitary gland, responding to stimulation from the hypothalamus in the brain of the pituitary function. The thyroid requires iodine in our foods to produce these hormones. So there are two primary hormones produced by this system. One is T3, is tri iodothyronine, and T4, which is thyroxine, T3, T4, the numbers represent the amount of iodine atoms that are in the molecules of these hormones. T4 is inactive and, in, and is, is converted by the body into the active form T3. It travels through the blood system to the different parts of the body where it performs all its processes of the body's growth, energy, and development. If a person has a deficiency in these hormones, it could cause a delay in the process. That delay will cause hypothyroid. If it's accelerated, and tap too much thyroid hormone, it can cause uh, another uh, thing called hyperthyroid. So it's already warm outside. It's 86 degrees at 12.15 here in Quartzsite, Arizona today. I had to turn the air conditioner on. hope it doesn't interfere with you hearing what I'm saying. So let's talk about hypothyroid. With hypothyroid, 
the thyroid does not produce enough hormone which can cause a lower metabolic rate along with slow respiratory and cardiovascular activity. Some of the common symptoms of hypothyroid are fatigue, weight gain even with poor appetite, intolerance to cold, slow heart rate, heavy menstrual flow, and even constipation. Hypothyroid can be caused by iodine deficiency or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disease where the thyroid gland is slowly destroyed by the body's own immune system. These causes can lead to thyroid gland swelling, also known as goiter. Usually, hypothyroidism is managed with thyroxine replacement, usually through a prescription. With hyperthyroid, where the thyroid gland produces too much hormone, it can cause the metabolism to be too active and higher rates of respiratory and cardiovascular would occur. Some of the common symptoms of hyperthyroid is irritability, insomnia, weight loss even with a good appetite, heat intolerance, and possibly racing heart and diarrhea. It is most commonly caused by Graves disease, another autoimmune disorder of the body. The TSI, a thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, similar to TSH but is not regular by regulated by negative um, feedback from the mechanism which lead to uncontrolled production of thyroid hormones. So this TSH doesn't regulate or slow down the production of the thyroid hormone, so you could have too much. It also can cause the thyroid gland to grow to form a goiter. Often, this hyperthyroid can be managed with antithyroid medication. If that doesn't work, they usually, usually get resolved to radioactive iodine, I-131, or if not that, surgery to remove the thyroid completely. In either case, this would be a lifetime of taking in a hormone hormone replacement. I hope have, I have informed you and given you uh, in, more information than you already have about why our thyroid is so important, important to our body. If you'd like to see this video, be sure to watch part two where I describe how it developed Graves' disease and all the things that went with it in part two of battling, battling thyroid disease, really, uh, six years of battling thyroid disease on the road, living off-grid in a car, trailer, or box van. So I will share my story about it. What happened to me as far as my, as far as my thyroid starting with Graves disease and hope you'll watch the next one. I don't have a link yet because I haven't developed that video yet. So please keep following me. Uh, if you're not a risk subscriber, consider doing so and check out the description below this video if you want to support this channel. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a great day.